Greetings from outside the Cleveland Art Museum. Today is Monday, September 12th, 2022. It is about 8, 10 a.m. in the morning and a very cool 66 degrees. And today I wanted to show the results of the Cleveland Museum of Art Chalk Festival that took place over this past weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Now, unfortunately, we're not gonna get the full glory of how beautiful this could have been, because for example, here was one of the chalk things that was done on Saturday of the Queen, but it did rain, like either sa late Saturday evening slash heading into Sunday morning. So that washed away what the full perspective could have been. So if you look at my phone, that's how it looked when it was originally uh, chalked up and you can see how much of it faded since then. But it was a two day event. So uh, the things that you see that are faded were likely chalked on Saturday. And then stuff that still looks very vibrant was likely done on Sunday. Now this plaza over here doesn't seem to have a ton of uh, chalk exhibits. Here's some with like donuts and ice cream cones. Some of them are more simpler, but I like to just kind of look around and see what things were designed. Like whoever did this area did a bunch of different fruit, but then all that stuff that seems like it's faded and washed away. I'm assuming that was done on Saturday. Okay. I like when I recognize caricatures like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and this is actually good timing that the maintenance truck just pulled away because the, there seems to be a pretty big chalk exhibit that was done just to my left over here. Well, let me try to see the right perspective of this. I believe this angle. Oh, very nice and intricate. And the artist's name is in the bottom right corner of most of these drawings. So this one looks, looks to be a bunch of bats that are sleeping and hanging upside down. This is a fresh looking one, so I bet this one was done like later in the day on Sunday. Let's go down here and walk around this whole area. I believe what I read online is that it cost $10 to like basically participate and have the chalk if you wanted to actually chalk something up. Otherwise, if you wanted to just walk around and watch the people painting, that was completely free to do. one of the minions. See something like the minion. Oh, and Brownie the Elf. <laughs> Who doesn't like Brownie the Elf after they got the uh, Browns got their first week one win since 2004 yesterday with a 58 yard field goal against the Panthers. But yeah, Brownie looks like he was probably done on Saturday as well. So you got the solar system. Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore.
Now this one here, I saw this, someone posted this to Twitter online and they compared. It's actually supposed to represent the fountain that is right above us. So if I go like this, that's supposed to be the fountain you're looking at. I don't know if I can get both the drawing and the fountain in the same shot. There you go. <laughs> that was pretty cool. You could look up anytime you're drawing it rather than having to go off of memory. Let's see if there's any still remaining over here. Yeah, like SpongeBob is faded by now. You got a couple SpongeBobs here. I wonder if that's, yeah, that is Shrek. Oh no, the Homer Simpson one is faded. I saw the Simpson one on Twitter. Representing the Ohio State Buckeyes there. Ooh, I like this one. The Guardians. See, that's one, that's, that's a unique one because it's like kind of a simple drawing but very detailed looking in the same manner. Like it looks so realistic. But you can see like they didn't even have to paint or chalk like a lot of this. It's more so like the lines and the the subtlety of the the brown included. I assume they painted that brown unless that's just what the stone is naturally. Sports themed one with the calves and the browns. Someone loves their orange. Well, I was gonna say a cat, but is that a cat or a fox? I'm gonna assume it was supposed to be a cat, a little orange kitty cat. Yeah, like I was starting to say earlier, I didn't even know they did this event, but I read online that they have done this since, I think, 1990. And someone on social media was posting a lot of the artwork. They went both to both the Saturday and Sunday events. So at least they got some nice pictures when before the rain clouded it. In the future, if I know this event's going on, maybe I'll try to come down as people are working on it. <laughs> Gotta love the uh, Garfield and John Arbuckle. Where's Odie? No one painted Odie? <laughs> 105 days, someone was counting down days to Christmas already. trying to feature some of the ones that are still more vibrant, like haven't had their colors washed away yet.
this. Adopt Jarvis at City Dogs. It must be a dog waiting to be adopted. <laughs> Cookie Monster. Forget what day it was. Somewhere else online I had seen a picture of a fully drawn Cookie Monster. You know what? I was I was thinking to myself like this all some of this almost looks like Super Mario like that looks like the you know the thing that Mario gets to throw fireballs that looks like Toad and then that's the piranha although and then the mystery block too bonus level interesting maybe it's maybe it's that that's like the artist or something uh, with all the subtle Mario themed things tied into it. Okay, so I had covered up until this point, so let's see some of this stuff. Now this one, when I saw it, let me get this little wet wipe wrapper out of the way. This one, when I saw it, I was like, man, how the hell did they <laughs> do the chalk on that? And it was like so neat too. I, although it almost, I don't know, like they have the, they had the scotch tape down. I wonder if part of this is like more of a s spray painting technique. I only say that because of the tape. Although, that, that's probably not the case. I bet they had the tape down and just were using it to chalk and, like, form the perfect square. So, yeah, this probably was chalk, but it's just, like, incredible detail. Unfortunately, even though the artists all signed their names... I have a terrible time reading it. Looks like Lore? Lori maybe? But I can't make out what the last name says. Otherwise I would be trying to call out some of these artists' names. Okay, so I, because this is a circle and there's also like weaving paths, I'm trying to decide what direction to go, but I think I'll go around this curve here. So the Elvis one I had seen on the walk up, but I didn't see any of the ones that were over here. So this one's freshly done as well. And you can see the date says 9-11 it was done, which was yesterday. There was supposed to be rain in the forecast for yesterday and overnight today. So if that would have happened, all of these would have been washed out. But fortunately, the, the rain held off.
Hi there. <laughs> I know that purple guy is from Among Us. Baby Yoda. I assume that's Baby Yoda, unless that's the adult Yoda, but it says, Cute I Am. Chip and Mrs. Potts from the Beauty and the Beast. Oh, there's the cookie monster. Woody Woodpecker. Iron Man. See, Iron Man looks like it was a Saturday one, but a lot of the colors and stuff are still here, maybe because it was so such a, a bigger version. I swear that guy looks like he's from Animal Crossing. Oh, any, anyone who's a fan of Stranger Things, there's our Stranger Things one. And the Mind Flare. Stranger Things is a very popular TV show that's been on Netflix for the past several years. Yeah, this section really got kind of washed out. So a lot of the Saturday ones probably. See, this one I saw was on Saturday from a Twitter. It was a simple, a toad looking up, but it looked so vibrant when I saw it in that picture. I'll try to put a comment, a uh, link in the comment section of this video with the person's Twitter feed that included a lot of those original pictures. Got a Buffalo Bills fan in Cleveland? What the heck? <laughs> Only Browns or Cleveland logos allowed, right? See some of these ones that were underneath the tree here probably got saved from the rain a little bit more than the others. So that's why you can still make out maybe these two that are fairly detailed but a little bit faded. We're going to go up the like kind of the left side and then turn back around here. Here's a very cool looking dinosaur. Looks like some, some more images of the queen. I 
thing that's the Titanic up there, April 14th, 1912. So after I cover this strip here, then there's even more chalk designs down down there. So we'll for, go with, do the square around that area, and then I think that'll be it. But I was, you know, hesitant to come out at first. So I'm like, eh, you know, is it going to be worth, not worth showing, but I didn't want to show like everyone's washed out drawings. I wanted to kind of should be able to show them as they intended but even the washed out ones you still get a pretty good artistic vibe from them after I'm done filming this video I'm gonna go back and quickly take some still pictures of all the ones that are like the most vibrant looking still Apologies if I'm constantly capturing my feet in this video. I know this is a rare video where I'm pointing the camera down to the ground the whole time. And that's where we went earlier when we saw Garfield and Johnny Arbuckle. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? So a lot of these areas probably weren't as fun to paint on because you can see the sidewalks are more busted up. See someone says make a plan to vote. <laughs> this one gets extra points for creativity because they actually took advantage of the landscape acting like the busted up sidewalk is 
you know part of the actual scene and they put like yellow highlights on it for like the sun shining down very creative on that one whoever had that idea and again it, i'm sure it looked even better but uh, this is probably one of the ones that got washed away on saturday but kudos to the creativity on that one These sidewalks are a little, uh, some of them are in a little bit better shape. Peace symbol. Is that a piece of pizza? Is this someone sleeping in a bikini? Unless I'm like, it's hard to tell with the faded, but I swear it looks like a bikini and then who knows if they're even wearing a top. have another sonic although we're upside down view from it at this angle Another thing too, if I would have known about this, believe it or not, I would have actually participated and had something unique to draw and it would have been cool to have encapsulated in this area for a couple days. Detailed Mike Wazowski. Someone in loving memory of their pet. Mushu the Cavalier. There's a. You can clearly see their handle on that one. <laughs> what is that, like Yoda and Barney from The Simpsons? Drinking? <laughs> I'm not sure which one's the top of the drawing, which one's the bottom, so I, I showed both angles, but either way that one looked cool. Is this the Nightmare Before Christmas? Okay, let's see here. We've got a detailed one here spanning four big blocks. And this one besides the the Elvis one, this one's probably the most preserved detailed one. Wendy Mahone, 2022. Sadly, for the people who did these ones, this tree has had its leaves fall down, so it kind of covers up the drawings a little bit. Although one could say maybe it adds to the element to some of these. It's a nice, like, mountain view.
Kanye West graduation. Is that what that says? <laughs> Have a pumpkin, another one for the fall harvest season coming up. Yeah, the, like I said, the leaves have kind of covered covered these ones up. There's another Mike Wazowski up top. Mr. Butt and Paul E. Two cats. Should probably go on the other side. Looks like most people drew them from this perspective. Uh, here's the Darius Garland one. On Saturday again, this is very vibrant looking. Tito Francona, manager of the Guardians. Oh, don't tell me someone did a Ghostbusters one and you can't make it out much now. There's the Ghostbusters symbol. I can't tell what that would have been. Looks like Luigi with a Pokeball in there as well. Someone represented Luigi before Mario? What the heck? That looks to be it. So, if you enjoyed this tour of all the cool art drawings that the people did via chalk, feel free to hit the like button. Give us a subscribe if you haven't already. And signing off with Garfield here, we will see you next time.